seriously. The girls face their fears at a fuel-injected photo shoot. But their efforts... I'm bored. ...failed to impress. None of you have smashed out anything other than average this week. And Lucy just scraped through. Izzy, unfortunately, that means you've been eliminated. Tonight... You, you really just embarrass me and I'm pissed off. You guys aren't supermodels yet, trust me. Tensions reach boiling point. Don't have attitude with me. I wasn't having attitude with you. Now you are. As the girls fight to stay in the competition. Remember what it felt like last week? Do something about it. Today's the day. But will they do enough to turn Alex around? Let the fight proceed. Ah! What happened last week? I don't want to see that again. Like, with Alex, like we all got fives. That was like the worst thing ever. We definitely looked so forced, like we looked so structured. I really reckon we should, you know, take on board what Alex said to us yesterday and go practice, yeah. practice our poses. Alex's pep talk has really, really motivated me, made me realise I need to think outside the box and I need to step it up. I know what looks good. Yeah. These ones. Really pose face. Oh, I'll put my hand up here. Oh, I'll put my hands on my hips and do a little lean. Yeah. No, I'm not going to do that anymore. I just want to be able to be out there and wacky like this. I'm going to do weird leg positions, weird hands. Go like this. Even bring my leg up, grabbing my hair up like this and going. Even jumping, grab my foot through my head, going like this. Sometimes Alex scares me. Mm -hmm. We have to be in control. You look really nice, but you look like you're too nice to be in control. Exactly, like... I definitely just scraped the top six. I mean, last week was so scary. I think it's enough if you want to be Australia's next top catalogue model. I can feel my opportunity being here is just slipping away. I want to show that I can be other things than just the sweet girl. I can be a versatile model and I want to be high fashion. I have to prove myself in the challenge. We walk in and we see two very schmick, important people standing there. We see Cheyenne and we see a Mazda. Like, I don't have my learners yet, so I really don't know that much about cars. Good morning, girls. You're our final six. How are you all feeling? Good, good. 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 This week is all about acting. In your modeling careers, you may become a brand ambassador. That means you're a spokesperson for the brand and you need to embody everything that brand stands for. You need to be able to sell it in an exciting way. Today's challenge is a casting call. Come up with a winning sales pitch for the all new Mazda 2. I had to try and sell the car to the people that invented the car. <laughs> it was like pure fear in my face, I think. I can't speak properly. I freeze up, so I sound really dumb because then I put things together that don't make sense. So running the casting call will be the marketing and communication directors from Mazda, Jay Lee and Alastair. It's aimed at young people and young females in particular. So 
get to know the specs and features and, um, and just have some fun. And we were all just like, no way. We were like, we can't do this. How do you expect us to do this in such a short period of time? This is a big challenge and there's a lot at stake. Alistair, can you tell us what the winner will get? Yeah, today's winner of uh, the all new Mazda 2 challenge will win $5,000. $5,000. I probably make that in about seven months working like four to five days a week. Um, so zero. Oh, that prize is insane. Yeah. What happened? Um, no, I'm just like, whew. it's an amazing opportunity. Like, I don't know. Um, I just worked like four years of my life and got $5,000, so... I was feeling very overwhelmed. I mean, it was kind of unbelievable. Ever since I was little, I've been kind of in my own little world. I was a little nerd geek. I don't have brothers or sisters. I have my mum. It's always, you know, been her and I. So the whole scenario, it was just so much all at once. You can use that in a good way. You can really go out and push it, OK? So who thinks they can nail this? Who can win? Really? You got a client right here. This is almost a casting already, so. Mm -mm. Someone, please do something. It's really quiet and it's really awkward. You want to be a supermodel? You want to do this? It's up to you. I'm not going to come here and sell the car for you. This is up to you girls. I can't do that. It was like, we were just scared. Are you serious? No one's confident. I'm gonna have a word with you girls outside. I'm twitching because I'm not happy. Very sorry. That that honestly made me feel so crappy. To know that we disappointed Cheyenne and possibly the Mazda clients, I mean, that that sucks. You you really just embarrassed me and I'm pissed off. That's first impression stuff. You just had a shocker. You've got a job to do and that's to sell that car. You will sell that car. There's two clients standing there. Looked rude. And it was really, it was bad form by all of you. You can't just flumble around and be like, oh, I'm cool, or I'm... <laughs> no, no, it wasn't like we were just like, oh, whatever. Like, if we're in shock. You guys aren't supermodels yet, trust me. You're cranky, aren't you? Yeah, because I don't think we were being rude. I think we were just all scared. And I don't think that we're all up ourselves and think we can no, just get away that. with it. Don't even start with me on that. And this stuff, young lady, because I wasn't trust doing me. that. Oh, no. Listen, Brittany? What? What? That's fine. I will do that. Don't have attitude with me. I wasn't having attitude with you. Now you are. All I'm saying, yeah, I am now. Why? Because you just went like this at me. Like. But uh, don't. You need to be so pleasant and so awesome and always, even if you're having the, if you're the worst day in your life. All right, so you girls can go chill. Brittany, you're staying with me. You girls can all go. Come on. Don't be Don't. When I tell you this, I mean, I, you can treat I know like that. It just felt like you were trying to make us out like no, no. we think we're all that. I can't put words together and I can't again. do things like that. You're talking right now. You're putting no, words but together. I, I can't. For something that's important, I can't do that. I'm important. You're talking to me. It wasn't us trying to be like, oh, we don't care. It wasn't like that. Obviously, you can see the fear in your face. Like. Believe in yourself. Okay. Go in there. And write something perfect. Yes, you can write. You can put a story together. Come on. It's called constructive criticism. I'm worried that Brittany's attitude will ruin this for her. She might go in there angry. Still to come. Oh my god. My mind went completely blank. Things get awkward. I, I do I start the commercial thing now? Sorry, I'm so forgetting the lines right now. I felt stupid. And later, the girls face their fiercest photo shoot ever. Angrier. Like, you bitch. And the gloves are off. Maybe not so much fist. Looks a bit ugly. Ah! This, this one's a hard one. Some people may think that walking off the side of a building is scarier than talking in front of a client. Good on you. But when you want to pursue modelling as a career, it's intimidating because you've got your whole heart and soul on the line and this is the job that you want to get. 
and it's scary. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm excited and nervous and everything, but I'm ready. Right. Oh, she's nervous. Okay, well, tell us all about the all-new Mazda 2. So the all-new Mazda 2 helps me get around town with room for my friends and all my shopping bags. Um, you're probably wondering how I can actually afford to go shopping when I've just bought a new car, but the thing is, I have a little secret. I save money on fuel with the Skyactiv fuel efficient technology, and with so much space, with a 280 litre capacity boot, why would I not fill it with so many shopping bags on any one given day? Well done. Great, thank you very much for that. Thank you, guys. Yeah. I thought it was quite good because it wasn't too long. I like it short because it's more like to the point. I feel like my pitch went well in front of the client. I tried my best and I tried to make it young and youthful and have a lovely afternoon. Uh, yeah. One more part of the challenge is uh, we'll take some photos of you with the car. I wasn't expecting a shoot. I was like... The car is the hero, so yeah. um, relax and enjoy it. The shoot was definitely different. It's not like a normal shoot where we're like, oh yeah, pose. It's like... You're just next to a car and you kind of have to show off the car and not really yourself. Pretend you've just, you've, it's your car, you can, uh, you love it? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> For a client to say, hey, look like that you like the car. the car. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just kind of missing the ball on that. But I think she did okay. Are you looking for your brand new car? I was too. My strategy was no matter how much I think I can't do this, I need to think that I can, because the clients can't know that I'm not very good at composing something and I'm not very good at talking. I need to fool them into thinking I'm the best brand ambassador they could choose for their Mazda. Do I start the commercial thing now? You tell us what you want to tell us, go for it. What we, what the script yeah, we did right. was? Yep. Okay. Oh, no. <sighs> All that I was thinking about was remember these lines like you need to fake it till you make it right now give me one second i need to compose yeah. give me one second you can't tell the Just... client that oh sorry i'm getting a little nervous um it fully went blank like everything was gone i it was what was it um for, to have it read out your emails and read out your text, it's so, it's... Oh, can you think of anything else? You can just flip down the thing and check your hair and makeup. You don't need to worry. The most important things whilst driving. Well, you've certainly, um, uh, we need to take some photos with you in the car. It's hard to work with a car. Oh my God, I probably look like a deer in headlights. It is just a disaster. The number one thing that I'm going to try and bring to my pitch is just myself, because they are casting off in personality. I'm not worried about learning all the facts. I've been learning facts my whole life so far. It's just like going to school for the day again. The Mazda 2 has brought imagination to life. This small new car with the sexy design is best suited for young drivers. With the incredible Multimedia Connect, this enables all drivers the opportunity to connect their phone and access their emails and text messages while driving. She's doing really good. She's relating it for a girl her age. Yeah, exactly. If you're one of those girls who wants the boys guessing who, the Mazda 2 is definitely for you. Well done. <laughs> we even got a tagline. And uh, as part of the challenge, we're also going to take some photos with you now as well. Oh, you're funny. Good one. <laughs> you can interact with the car in any way you like. It's like, how am I meant to pose with such a big prop? Like, do I get on it or something? <laughs> I want to get in. Well, they should take control. I was not expecting a photo shoot, but I was so excited to get in there and pretend I was driving. One hand. <laughs> I don't have my license yet, so that was illegal. Everyone can sue. <laughs> Walking in, it was really hitting home. The prize, $5,000, is absolutely insane. Hi, lovely to meet you. Of course I want this prize, and of course I want to win it. The small car is taking a big leap forward. The all-new Mazda 2 is now available in three sleek designs. It's too robotic. Mm-hmm. I just want to shake her. 
make her relax. Each model differ differentiates in colour, texture and pattern. There's a style to suit everyone. All you have to do is pick. They said that they were looking for someone with personality and I hope I showed that. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. There's nothing I love more than slipping into my new red Mazda 2. Yeah, the whole part of writing something down and coming up with something that people were going to like was the hardest thing for me. I knew that once I got out there, I was going to forget it all, no matter what. It's just what happens to my head. Hi, I'm Brittany. Hi, Brittany. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Hello, nice to meet you. Hey. Okay. Do I just go? Okay. Oh my god. She looks nervous. My mind went completely blank. I had no idea what to say. And then I just made up stuff. Oh, okay. So after I'm um, working with excavators and bobcats and a lot of heavy machinery, uh, like the black leather seating is so much more comfortable. Like it's nothing to what you would find on a construction site. I feel like it's really sexy, like it's a sexy little car, you know, it's not just cute, it's sexy and it, you know, it can be a woman or a girl or, you know, any kind of... You feel safe in it, I think, a lot more safer than being on a construction site and being around, you know, dangerous things. Oh. I feel like I did better than what I thought I was capable of, so I'm happy, yeah. Oh shit, too. Yeah, she is. Did she just swear in front of a client? And she's just leaning Did she just curse in front of a client? <laughs> um, I did say shit at one point, uh, but they laughed about it, and I think because I said I drive excavators and bobcats, that it was okay. Here's your friend connection. Mm. Today is a bit overwhelming. I mean, doing like being this sprung upon us, like write your own script and act it out, and you know, make sure the client's happy. It's just like. <gasps> but I'm gonna bring everything I can to this casting call, no matter how nervous I am, I can't be in the bottom two again. Sorry. It's okay. <sighs> I forgot my first line, sorry. It's okay, just relax. Yeah. Sorry, I'm so just nervous. I should not be, and I'm so, so sorry. Um. <laughs> yes, yeah, so sorry. It's okay. Um. Getting around the Mazda 2 is, um, 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 getting around in the Mazda 2 is absolutely amazing. And with now, it's dynamic, and it's dynamic. Sorry, I'm so forgetting the lines right now, and I should not be. I'm so, so, so sorry. I felt ridiculous. I felt like I did the worst job and I felt stupid. The winner of Australia's Next Top Model will receive a 12-month modelling contract with the world's number one international model agency, IMG Models, and will feature in an editorial spread for leading fashion magazine, Elle Australia. She will also head to New York to be part of New York Fashion Week, valued at $20,000, thanks to Tresemme, and drive away in a stylish all-new Mazda 2 Genki. Sorry, I'm so forgetting the lines right now and I should not be. I'm so, so, so sorry. I felt ridiculous. I felt like I did the worst job and I felt stupid. What's the feature that's most important to you in a car? Um, I did notice about the fuel efficiency and that is a really big point for me because I live down at the Gold Coast and I think that is the best thing ever to have fuel efficiency. That's it. Just be yourself, please. That's all she needs to be. It's amazing. <laughs> and ooh, zoom zoom. <laughs> zoom zoom. <laughs> See commercials, Lucy's thing. Mm -hmm. I was trying to be happy and you know trying to be my bubbly self, but 
That was like the most nerve-wracking thing I've done in such a long time. Thank you so Thanks, much, Lucy. Sorry, I was so nervous That's at the okay. start, but lovely it was really meet. lovely meeting you Thank guys. Thank you very much. I know I kind of got out of my nerves halfway through, but that's just not enough, I don't think. It was a tough challenge and a lot at stake. Now, the stack, you tell us who the winner is. But of course, there can only be one winner. And the winner of the Mazda challenge is Lauren. Congratulations, Lauren. You kept it real. You had a bit of confidence as well, and that really impressed us. So congratulations. Well Thank done. You. Thank you so much. This is the first challenge I've ever won, and it was just such a great feeling. I still can't believe it. I don't think you'll ever sink in. <laughs> Maybe until I spend the money. And girls, you guys will get your scores back at home. So off you go. Tomorrow's a huge photo shoot. We want you guys to be the best, all right? I'm the first one down, and the score's are there, and I'm on the bottom. That was the worst challenge score I've ever got. So for the photo shoot, I'm really going to have to smash it. I'm not gonna lie, I deserve a 6.5, but I would be lying if I said it didn't feel really crappy. Yeah, yeah it is. Still sucks. It's so close in the competition right now. 0.5 could make a difference. I am going to take every single risk I can take in the photo shoot. I'm not holding back. That was the scariest thing I've ever done in my whole entire mm. life. Seeing my score, I was so happy just that I wasn't at the bottom, I guess. But last week was so terrifying and I couldn't stop crying. So, yeah, I just don't want that to happen again. Are you guys excited? I'm really yeah. excited, but, like, we never know what to expect. <laughs> Although it was very exciting to have Alex there, it was kind of also very, very intimidating at the same time, considering last week he kept making comments about how commercial we were and how catalogue and, and stiff and static we were. I don't want to be a Shazing Stock catalogue model. It's a lot of pressure. A lot, a lot of pressure. Good morning. Good morning. So after last week's elimination, I know it was hard on you guys, but I expect more from you, and I know that you can deliver more. So today, I need a wow photo moment from every single one of you. We're going to do a high fashion, energetic photo shoot, Fight Club style. We actually have to fight someone. What? <laughs> so I need you to embrace your inner warrior. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Brittany, do you reckon you can do that? Sounds cool. I'm yeah? excited. Right. I'm just want to get into it. Yeah, I've been in a fair few fights before. Really excited. So would you like to meet your photographer? Yes. This guy's a bit of a legend. He's shot incredible beauties like Cindy Crawford, Rosie Huntington-Whiteley and Christy Turlington. So girls, make welcome Simon Upton. I've seen Simon Upton's name in magazines before. I've, I know he's big time and I cannot wait to shoot with him. Oh. I've invited a very special guest judge today. She's walked for the likes of Dior, Gucci and Yves Saint Laurent. She's made the incredible transition into acting and she has the starring role in the hit series Vikings. Oh my God, are you serious? Oh! <gasps> Girls, please welcome the extraordinarily beautiful and talented Alyssa Sutherland. Her face is just like, like it's in a magazine, but it's moving. Hi! She's not only your guest judge for this week, She's also the person that you'll be fighting in your photo shoot. Oh, my God. Oh. I guess don't be afraid to beat me up. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe how amazing she is, and I just really don't want to fight her. <laughs> you guys are going to be modelling with Alyssa Sutherland. You haven't modelled with a professional model before. I don't think you've seen a professional model work. I mean, even though we're saying that you are going to be in a fight scene, you need to still look beautiful and remember that you're being photographed. 
But I think as well, like, drop your guard, lose your inhibitions. We're here to have fun. It should be fun. You know, I think that's probably the best thing. I think if you're scared and, and you're feeling inhibited, you won't do your best work. There was a silence among all of us because we were so intimidated. We're actually posing in a photo with her. As well as the fact that we all have a lot to prove to Alex Ferrer today. He was not happy with us. So if I see a photo at elimination where you look like you're not moving, there's no energy, I will slap you down. Trust me. I have not been more worried about my place in the competition than right now in this moment. The theme to the photo shoot was Fight Club. This is a high fashion shoot and I want to kill it. I can't believe that we're working with Melissa. Like, she's so amazing. I'm so scared to fight her. Like, Should we, like, practice? Yeah, but I don't know how to practice. We'd never fight with you. I know. My strategy for the shoot is just to be in the moment. Get angry, you know? I can be beautiful and dangerous. <gasps> Hi. Hello. Oh, I'm so excited. Are you? Why are you excited? Because I'm not holding back today. I mean, I've been playing it so safe. I'm not going down without a fight. I'm currently in danger of going home. Today is the perfect shoot to take risks and to move. I'm ready to fight. Here, right now. Let's do this. This, 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 this. this. Wow. Oh, my God, I'm scared. That's it. Push her back, too. Don't let her control you. Get a little bit more aggressive in your... Poses. Like, put your hand on her face and push her away. That's it, that's it, like that. Good. I love the fact that uh, I can't tell you're shorter than Alyssa. <gasps> no. I was like, yes. Don't tell her that. It's the best feeling knowing that I'm proving Alex wrong. I'm not shooting short. I have never, ever been in a physical fight at all. I am the least physical attacking person you will ever come across. I'm kind of worried about how I'm going to do today, considering I did do too well in the challenge. Jordan, hi. Hi, hi it's lovely to meet you. Nice to meet I'm you. I'm Jordan. Eliza Sutherland is this incredible, successful Viking. And here's little George in the corner, like, <laughs> what do I do? That's it. Move with her too. That's it. Yeah. Invade her space. Yeah. Like she's coming into your space and you're sitting back all the time. Get in there. Okay. You bend your knees. Don't be afraid to hold the side of her face and just look back at me and stuff. You're looking too pretty, hon. You've got to be a bit harder. I was really struggling to stay strong. She was like looking me dead straight in the eye. It was very, very intimidating. I couldn't find my ground. There's some good pictures, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But what I find is missing a little bit is just that intensity in yeah. your eyes. Yeah, I think Jordan was a little passive. Instead of sort of dropping a little bit and putting the tension into her body, it was sort of, it was how I would stand waiting for a bus. Keep going, keep going, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ah! Love it. Do it. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, good. That's better. Good, there, hold it. All right, we've got stuff. Thank you. So <laughs> I felt really good about how it went at the end, but it's still very nerve-wracking to think about how elimination is going to go. It is really scary knowing that I got a bad challenge score and if I get one bad photo, I'm going home. I think the hardest thing is going to be being able to keep my face beautiful at the same time as fighting someone. Have you really hit someone before? Yeah. For real? Yeah. <laughs> I've never been in a real fight. I was just like, I don't want to hurt her. She looks too precious. Just bring your face closer to Alyssa's there. Good. Maybe not so much fist. It's just looking a bit savage. It's okay. looking a bit... You've still got to look beautiful, hun. It looks a bit ugly when you're pulling that sort of face. I think she had some trouble relaxing her face a little bit. And I was, you know, that was what the challenge was today, was sort of be in this fight, but still come across beautifully. It's like make or break time. Like, 
I have to do everything, everything possible. Well done. Good. Now keep moving, guys. Good. Now push it back a little bit. That's it. There. Hold it. It's good. I think we've got that. Yeah. Out <laughs> 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 <Not> of <a> breath. <laughs> exactly. Right. Go Thank cool you. off. Yeah. Thank you. Being out, out in the bottom of the challenge, I hope I've done enough to stay. I think maybe I have, I'm not sure. But I just felt like we weren't getting it for a very long time. So I just hope that a really good photo gets picked because I know there was probably a lot of bad ones in there too. I don't know. Jess. Hi. My strategy for this photo shoot is to be natural and calm. You can still bust out a kick, right? Yeah. Yeah, OK. Just try and be really positive, but pretend I'm really angry and look like I hate Alyssa when I really don't. When you're ready, guys, let's go. Yep, 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 go. Remember the tension in your face, huh? Have your mouth always a little open. That's it, go. Strong, harder. You've got to look a bit more intense in your face. Angrier. It's got to be angry. You remember, it's a fight scene. So pull it towards you as well. I think for Jess, the hardest thing was to get her to push and be strong and, and powerful and domineering. I found it a little bit difficult to look angry. I'm not a very angry person. It's got to be angry, yeah? But Alex was great to work with. He gave me a lot of advice. Like you hater. Like you bitch. Got onto your boyfriend. Like. Go. Dude, that was too friendly. It doesn't matter. It's got to look mean. Like. Scream your head off. Yeah, scream your head off. Exactly. We want to hear you. I did try my hardest and I kind of tried to dig from an angry place. doesn't exist, but, you know. Hello. Lauren. You look gorgeous. Thank you. I'm Lauren. Hi, Lauren. You ready for a fight? Yeah, I am. Yeah? I think fighting with my brothers gave me some experience in the shoot. Like, you've got her on the ground. You've been fighting her, so... Am I allowed to, like, get lower as well? You've got to do whatever you've got to do. All right. I was a little bit worried about hurting her. I didn't want to, like, get in there and rip her to pieces. She's quite partial to the ponytail pull. Yeah. Put that arm of yours back down where it was a little bit fo further forward. It's, it gives great tension on your back. It was so weird straddling Alyssa. Yeah, and rip that oh, ponytail oh, out. Oh, but we made eye contact. She looked so fierce. I was like, OK, it sort of encouraged me to look really fierce. And it was really good to be able to experience that with a professional model. The closest I've come to a fight in the past is probably me and my sister. <laughs> like, we go hard. I grew up with a really happy home. I have an older sister, she's 20, and now I'm blessed with my little sister, who's a year old. She's a ball of love. I miss my family so much, but I'm just not ready to go home yet. Last week, I got told I was a catalogue model more than a fashion model, which is what I want to be. I can bring it so much better than I have, and I'm going to prove that to him. Lucy. Hi. It's a great outfit. Thank you. Do you feel yeah. good? Yeah, I do. It's yeah? so cool. You're bringing your fighting game? Yeah, for sure. What happened last week? I don't want to see that again. Oh, that's not happening. Okay. It's not happening? No. Great. Let me have a look at it. I definitely had the mindset of not being sweet, Lucy. I'm going to be tough, Lucy, and I'm going to nail this. So you've got to move, Lucy. You've got to keep moving. And don't look at me. Look at her. You're having a fight with her. That's it. That was a great shot, but you're looking too kind. Does my face need to be angrier? Remember what it felt like last week? Oh, the shittest is all I can explain. Okay, well then, Sorry, it was well so then bad. do something about it. Today's the day. Don't be afraid. Let the fight proceed. But don't be afraid to pull her into your body, yeah? Move each frame, that's it. Be aware of your face, that's it. That's it, you bring the eyes back to me. Good. I think we've got that. We're good to go. Fantastic. Really yeah. Cool. Well done. <laughs> I am so happy with how I went. I'm so glad that Alex Perry was there to see it because he saw how much I was trying to, you know, get that anger kind of out. And thank you so much. Thank you. <sighs> I'm just hoping I've done enough just to stay. The atmosphere backstage is very static. You can just feel the nervousness floating through the air. 
Coming off my shoot, I felt really positive, but it doesn't make me think that I'm definitely going to be staying. I don't know how any of the other girls have gone in their photo shoot. I want to be here because it's the first thing that I haven't given up on. I never imagined I'd get this far, but now I'm here. I want to see it through. I want to get into the top five and I want to win. I have definitely become a lot tougher through this competition, but you know, I don't think anyone actually can tell you how scared you'll be standing at elimination and waiting to see if you're going to go home or not. Nobody prepares you for that. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. This week, there has been a lot of pressure for you guys. We want to see you really push the boundaries and step up and wow us on all fronts. How has this week been? Oh, oh. No, definitely harder, I think. Yeah. yeah. The challenge was harder. Yeah. I've actually heard some pretty phenomenal feedback about your photo shoot, and some of that feedback came from your co-star and our guest judge today, Alyssa Sutherland. Hi, girls. Alyssa <laughs> is really inspiring because she did make the transformation from model to actress, and that's a really inspiring thing to see. Hi, it's good to see you again. <laughs> And also making up our judging panel is the amazing Alex Perry. Hi, girls. Hi. As always, your scores will be tallied, your challenge score and your photo shoot score. And the girl with the lowest score will be going home and will no longer be in the running to be Australia's next top model. Let's get into it. Up first is Alex. Step forward. How are you? I'm um, a little scared. <laughs> <laughs> so Alex, you scored a 6.5 in your challenge. Was that on your mind? The 6.5 was definitely on my mind, but it made me more determined. I'm not playing it safe anymore. I'm taking risks. I want to be a high fashion model, and that's what I was thinking in this shoot. So let's have a look at your photo. Wow. Girl, you look tall. how tall you look. <laughs> it's pretty wow, this photo. Yeah. You don't look that short at all. You actually no. look like you're taller than Alyssa. Yeah, really? like I'm that excited because this is what I've been wanting. Like a little bit awesome. of wow. And you've worked the dress, the shoes, everything. And you do stack up <laughs> to this one, and she's, like, amazingly beautiful. <laughs> and I'm going to give you a nine. <gasps> oh, <laughs> thank you. Look, you kind of keep proving me wrong, in a sense, because... Yes, she you know, does. The shorties and I are never really good friends. <laughs> like, Sorry. You know, but when you come on set, you bring it from the beginning. Um, mm. I think this is beautiful. I've given you an 8.5. Yes! I think it's a fabulous picture. You look great. We worked together. You were really great to work with. You were very intense. I can't fault it, and I really do believe I'd see it in a high fashion magazine, so I'm giving you a 10. No, you're not. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. Thank you so much. Oh. So your total score, including your challenge score, is a 34 out of 40. Thank you so much. Thank you heaps. I'm feeling on top of the world. I'm proving Alex wrong. I'm not shooting short, and short models can do this. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, beautiful. Lauren, you're up next. Hi. Hello. So, Lauren, you won the challenge this week. After last week, I'm really hoping that I see something that I haven't seen from you before in this photo. So, yeah. let's check it out. Wow. That's insane. I like it. I love this picture of you. I think this is your best picture to date. Because I've always thought that you look great when I see you in person, but I've never really seen it in uh, in photographs. I think it's great. And it's like a breakthrough, you know, a bit of a wow moment for you. So I'm going to give you a nine. Mm, I'm really impressed. Something that I haven't seen before. So strong. I'm going to give you a nine. I think it's a beautiful shot. I, I think it's stunning. So I'm giving you an eight. Thank you. 
So your total, including your challenge score, is a 34.5. You're at the top. Better than last week. It's way better than a five. Oh, such a relief. <laughs> well done. Thank you. That's what I want to Thank see. you so much. Good yeah. on you. Brittany, step forward. I got the lowest score in the challenge this week, so I'm freaking out that I haven't done enough to stay safe. So you really needed to really work it in the photo shoot. Do you think you pulled through? Yeah, I think I, I definitely tried harder than what I usually would. Like, I tried doing different things. Um, I just hope it was enough. So there is a lot riding on this photo. So let's have a look. Wow, do you like this? Yeah. No, come on. <laughs> it's really great. Yeah. It's a really great picture. It's a beauty shot. Your face is flawless. It's really beautiful. And you've stood up to one of the world's most beautiful models in that same picture and you've held your own. So I think that's, um, that's worth a nine. Thank you. I think you could have gone a little bit more with this, like with the aggression side of things. I'm going to give you an eight, so it's a high score, but I think you can do a little bit better. Okay. I love the picture. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I think you'd see it on the pages of a magazine and an editorial. Just don't rest on that. Yep. I gave you a ten. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my god. How do you Thank feel you. about that? Thank you so much. You're welcome. So your combined score? including your challenge score, is a 33 out of 40. Well done, Brittany. Thank you. I got a 10 from Melissa, but I'm still at the bottom of the scoreboard. My heart is racing. I really don't want to be in the bottom two. I just hope the next three girls' scores are less than mine. Jordan, step forward. Hi. Hi. So how was this week? I was a little bit nervous going into the photo shoot considering I've never had a fight in my entire life. I've never had a fight either. So you need to know how to access certain parts of you that don't come naturally. I think once we started getting you grunting and screaming, <laughs> you let go a little bit more. Yeah. So do you think that you've done enough to stay safe? I hope. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right, let's have a look at your shots. There's something about this shot that isn't believable to me. You're not taking, yeah. you know, the reins. I, I don't think I'm angry enough. Like, fierce enough. You look beautiful here. It's almost there, it's just it's lacking a bit of tension. You move backwards and forwards a little bit, but there was no real intent in it. And I think that's what's lacking here. Like, I wanted to give you a, a better score, but I'm going to give you a 7.5. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I'm almost looking at two different pictures that have been put together and yeah. I'm having a fight, but you've just been caught in the middle of a tango. But having said that, you're a, you're a tall girl, you look like a model, you have that complete package. So I'm going to give you an 8. Okay, thank you. I'm going to give you a 7.5. Thank you. With your challenge score, it's a 30 out of 40. Thank you so much. Thank you. My hopes of staying at this point are definitely fading. I mean, the other girls have had amazing photos and mine definitely is nowhere near as good enough. I can't even begin to explain how badly I want to be in the top five. I'm just hoping I've done enough just to keep me in that position. It's probably the scariest elimination so far. Lucy, you're up. So last week was such an emotional week for you. You know, the elimination, you're close to going home. So how was this week? Um, this week I definitely tried harder. You needed to though. It was sink or swim for you because last week was terrible. I started to wonder whether you were just one of those pretty girls in real life that couldn't actually be a model. So there is a lot riding on this. Let's see if you have improved.
So do you think you've done enough to stay in the competition? Um, this week I definitely tried harder. You needed to though. It was sink or swim for you. So there is a lot riding on this. Let's see if you have improved. <laughs> You're just as shocked as that. <laughs> wow. That is such a turnaround from last week. You were just like, no, I know I can do this and I'm going to show you that I can. That's a gutsy yeah. thing to do. <laughs> you had the idea to pull my hair, you came on and you thought about it and you weren't afraid to try things at all. I'm giving you a tip. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You know, people always give me a hard time when I critique hard. You were all lousy last week, and I mm -hmm. thought that you needed, like, some fire underneath you to say, that's not good enough. If you chuck out every other photo that you've had in this competition, hang on to that one because it's a 10. <gasps> no! <laughs> yeah, it's a 10. You've taken that photo away from Alyssa. You're the focus of that picture. I think that's undeniable. And you're also showing off the dress, so you're being a model. It's not a 10 for me, but it's a 9.5. I oh. think you could have done more in your face. Thank you. What your challenge score is a 36.5 out of 40, and that is the highest combined score we've had so far. Yay. Congratulations. <laughs> and you're up the top, obviously. Yay. <laughs> Thank you so much. No worries. Thank you. I've got 10 points for everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, like, I knew I could do it. I just had to push myself, and I did. And I'm so much happier. <laughs> so, Jordan, with only one girl left to score, you're currently at the bottom of the ladder and in danger of going home. This is definitely the most worried I've been in the competition so far. I knew this day was coming at some point, but I don't want it to be the end. The last girl up. Jess, step forward. And what does modelling mean to you? Every time I answer this question, I, I get really emotional. It does mean a lot to me. Um, I feel like this is something that I'm really happy I do it and it brings me so much joy in life. So <clears throat> it does mean the entire world. Because you do want this. Yeah. All right. Let's have a look at your photo. OK. Do you like this shot, Jess? I don't know. Do you want to zoom? Let's zoom in on it. I can't really see your face or anything. Just when we zoomed in on your face, I, yeah, I think, I yeah. I didn't like it. Yeah, I think you could have done more with your face because it's so incredible. But I, 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 like the, I like your face in that. I know it's Thanks. kind of it looks a bit wild, you know, like uh, attacking. Yeah. I just feel like it's in between, in between yeah. shots yeah. or something. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I feel like you're faking it a little bit and that it's an imitation of something you've seen rather than really feeling that kind of aggression or frustration yeah. inside of you and yeah. putting that across. So I don't buy it. Jordan, please step forward. It's now down to the two of you. Being in the bottom two with Jordan is terrible. She's one of my closest friends in here. I love you so much. Jess, you need to score over 30 to remain in the competition. <sighs> this shot overall is very strong. I think you could have been a little bit more present with your face. I think your body position and how you're grabbing Liz's hair is insane. Um, I'm going to give you an 8.5. I've, I've told you it's not my favourite shot out of the girls, so I'm giving you a seven. OK, thanks. So, Jess, you need a seven or more from Alex to stay safe. Uh, 
I had both of you pegged for top four. So either way, I'm kind of wrong, which I don't like at all, as you know. I think that there's incredible potential in both of you. But based on these two photographs and this one in particular, I'm giving you a nine. That means you're safe, Jess. And you're through. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Don't cry. You can go back and see the other girls. Thank you. Guys. Thank you. I love you. Jordan, you stunning creature. <laughs> this is so hard for us. As we said, you have the potential. You will be a great model. You just, it's just maybe this time's not yeah. absolutely right and just that photo wasn't right yeah. um but you, you you're amazing I, I seriously i thought you're gonna be in the finals come here thank you so much it's not just what you're to be fine you're gorgeous yeah. i'm really proud thank of you me. thank you so okay, much just started thank you so much I want to take you somewhere so you know I care But it's so cold and I don't know where I brought you down I'm feeling very devastated that I'm walking away from this set and saying goodbye to the competition but I'm just trying to focus on how far I've come and the opportunities that I've been handed I can choose whether this is going to be the end or whether this is going to be the beginning so I definitely choose the beginning Next time on Australia's Next Top Model. It's the top five. At this point, it's anyone's game. Up for grabs is the biggest prize yet. The winner will be the face of Colgate Optic White. Oh, no way! You're about to meet Australian modelling royalty. Megan freaking Gale. Are you serious? You must ooze confidence. So I want smiling, laughing, owning the space. Just, you know, grab him. Is confidence enough to make it to the final four? Well, there are a lot of frames to choose from. There weren't a hell of a lot.